Welcome back to another video in our alphabet dating series. If you're new here, we have been working our way from A to Z using the alphabet to come up with some pretty unique and super fun date night experiences. If you missed our last video, we did our G date where we rode a ferry over into Grafton, Illinois, enjoyed some delicious food, rode the gondolas, and ended the night with a spooky ghost tour. Today we are continuing our alphabet dating series with our H date and if you know Mark and I, you probably thought that we were going to do either hiking or horseback riding for our H date because we do really love both of those things but the weather was not really cooperating and so we had to... So we came up with a plan B. I'm kind of embarrassed to say that I've lived in Missouri and near St. Louis all if not most of my life and I have never been inside the Missouri History Museum. Have you been here before? Nope. So we're kind of embarrassed to say that, or at least I am. And you guys know us, we like to do several things for these date nights to give you lots of different ideas of things that you could do in your area. So we have more after this, but here first. Here we go. <laughs> let's go learn some history. Let's go learn stuff. You can feel it, it's like vibrating. <laughs> I can feel it in my feet too. says hip hop. <laughs> such a dork. This section here is really neat. It's all the like early St. Louis settlers exhibits, so from the 17 and 1800s. Kickley gave birth to a son and soon began to inquire about purchasing her freedom. After initial resistance, Mr. Garland offered her boat fare across the river to Illinois. Here's a quick hint at where we're going next. The night is along train miles. I don't think they're serving food there, honey. something I haven't seen in a museum before. This whole section is dedicated to like getting your feedback and input on exhibits and what you want to see. This is actually really cool. You can submit questions. Over here I had like an interactive like poll that I did and then this is more like a kid-friendly version of like different options and you fill up the little pom-poms in the jar with your choices. I think that's pretty cool that they ask for that input and there's like a whole board over here you can write ideas. That's pretty neat. 
Now I feel even more silly that that was the first time that we had been to the History Museum here in St. Louis because it was really cool. Like, as much as I'm like, Missouri this, St. Louis that, I'm so proud of my state. No, it was set up very well. They, uh, much smaller scale, obviously, than some of the other museums, but, I mean, the stuff they had there was very well laid out. We were comparing it to, like, the Smithsonian Museums in Washington, D.C. that we were out about this time last year, and obviously, like, it's a smaller scale, like Mark said, but... As far as the way that they laid it out, I was really impressed. It's like a lot of things in St. Louis, it's also free. So definitely check that out if you happen to ever come to St. Louis. You might learn something. I learned a few things in there. A lot, honestly. And we didn't even have time to, you know, read all of the exhibits fully. We kind of got to see most of the areas. The only one we didn't go into, I think, was the, like, kid friendly like there's a family friendly area too i mean all of the museum is really pretty family friendly there's lots of little buttons to push and listen to different stories and watch little videos and i got to color mark got to color <laughs> so <laughs> i'm getting very hungry but it's also time to move on to our next stop are we just gonna get food there is that the plan let's hop to it here we go first we got to do an outfit change we'll be right back Honk, honk, honk. Let's go, go Blues! blues. <laughs> We're going to a hockey game. Let's go. Going to a hockey game is not something new for Mark and I. We have been to many games before, but we had never eaten at the High Point Diner at the arena. And that's what I love about this challenge is that instead of eating the same foods that we always get whenever we go to a Blues game, it got us to step out of our comfort zone a little bit and try something new. Your St. Louis That was horrible. <laughs> they lost. That's the first time I told Mark. I've been coming for for like 15 years or so to games, and I'm 99% sure that that was the first time they've ever lost at a game that I've been to in person. Very sad. So we're gonna go home and call it a night. We'll be back tomorrow for part two Dos. of our H date. We gotta Ho go home and cry ourselves to sleep first. <laughs> Hopefully, it goes better than the end of this <laughs> night. But that, the night ain't over yet. That one hurt. Honey. <laughs> Wife said it was going to be a beautiful day for a hike. So here we are. And it is. Hiking in our raincoats, just in case. At least we're not in flip flops. We are back for part two of our age date, and we are doing something that we didn't know we were going to get to do. It's hiking at Haha ha Tonka State Park. The weather is holding out for us, so I'm super excited that we get to do some hiking today. I was skeptical. I thought it was going to rain all day. <laughs> We're going to start with one of the most popular sites in the park, the Castle Ruins. They brought all the stones to make the castle was by pulling carts like this by mules on a mini railroad. It's crazy. Do not 
enter the castle. Do not climb on the rock walls, honey. Try to resist the urge. The colors are definitely past its peak, but we do have some that are still like yellowy, orange. A lot of them sadly are turning brown and falling now. Next, we're headed up to the water tower, which was burned down in the 70s by vandals, just a couple years before this became a state park. And then there's also, I believe, a sinkhole on this trail. Lots of really interesting geologic features on this in the state park too. found part of the sinkhole over here. Let's keep going on the trail and see if there's a different view. I know the sign says that it's 200 vertical feet back up, but the brink of the lower falls, if I'm not mistaken, when we did that trail at Yellowstone, I think it was like 600 vertical feet back up. So. And she made it. And we made it. And this has handrails, stairs. We've got our sticks this time. Surely we can make it back up this one. <laughs> Not you can carry me. <laughs> wow, that is some blue spring water. It's so pretty. The water's so clear. Honey. Mark was just reading on the sign that they have an old electric pump here because this spring water used to be for all the early settlers and the American Indians in the area so that they had their water supply. <laughs> wow, this is cool. See, I told you we were going to get to play hide and seek today. <laughs> hide and seek at Haha ha Tonka State Park. Don't hurt yourself. This is a little sketchy. Oh my. Oh god. Whew, I made it. I want to see a beaver and a muskrat and some ducks and a mink and an otter. I do not want to see a frog. What about a snake? Or a snake. <laughs> I'm good. That's the two we're going to see. I'm good on that. here back in the 1800s but now all that's left are the stone and this dam. Oh damn! <laughs> He's so stupid. <laughs> I'm gonna beat him with this thing. There's a little fish. Not getting any bites. <laughs> so dumb. Why are you like this? found evidence of a beaver, but no beaver in sight. When Mark realized that this trail just kind of loops around, we actually don't have to go back up those stairs, but we do have to go back uphill. <laughs> Hill, not stairs. Although that being said, I can definitely do the trail easier than I can do stairs with my knees, so. Those stairs were kind of slippery. I kind of <laughs> fell one time on my... <laughs> I think you got it on camera. <laughs> like the wet leaves on top of the mossy covered steps. A little slippery. Yeah, so. Pros and cons to having the paved trails or the boardwalk trails, but I take just a normal dirt trail any day. Same. picks up on camera but from up here you can really get the sinkhole feeling of just how large this thing was so basically it was a cave that collapsed 
I made this big sinkhole where the spring is now. It's very interesting, really pretty. There's one more detour on this trail. We're headed to the Natural Bridge. This better not be the bridge that they were talking about. Natural bridge. <laughs> Doesn't look very natural. There's natural materials. <laughs> The bridge was definitely worth the detour, but now I think our time is over. We're headed back to the car. That was a beautiful hike, and this was a really fun H date weekend, really. We kind of like. It's been a heck of a time. Made a really long date out of this. <laughs> we tend to do that, though. We're a little extra when it comes to the date nights, but we like to give you guys lots of ideas. So if you guys want to give us some ideas for something we should do for our I date night, let us know in the comments down below. It might be a little bit before we post an I date because we also have a lot of like holiday things coming up. So and birthdays, don't forget. Somebody's birthday coming up. So we'll have lots of fun adventures for you in the future. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. Give the video a thumbs up. And we'll see you again next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah. I'm hot and hungry. Hot and hungry. <laughs> Hell yeah, it is. There's a homeless guy. This is where they originally kept Rapunzel. I just found out that a dragon is what caused the fire from a little girl. So it all's making more sense now. All right, honey. I'm such a dork. My hands are stuck. Oh, you're a prisoner now. <laughs> No swimming, honey. Well, you were thinking about jumping in and skinny dipping, but don't do it. Honey, wait. Wait for me. You got it, honey. Nailed it. <laughs>